My name is Sheng Xiaqing. I'm a doctor from orthopedic surgery department in West China Hospital, Sichuan University. I'm talking to you about my JBJ's article on convertible joint fusion versus end plus base fusion in anterior cervical spine surgery. The failure to achieve early fusion might result in prolonged neck brace wear, a delayed return to walk, reduce patient satisfaction, and a delayed return to play for athletes. My colleague and I conducted this study because we often obtain some fragmented bone during the decompression process in HDF, and this autogenous bone was often wasted. So we tried to implant this bone into a convertible joint to promote fusion. At first, this was just an unintentional action, and we are not sure if it would be useful. However, during the follow-up we noticed that unconvertible joint fusion always seemed to precede the end plant space fusion. So, we realized that the bone fusion in unconvertible joint might be faster. And then we carry out a series of biomechanical studies and in vivo studies in GOAT to verify this conjecture. Then we further conducted this human prospective randomized controlled trail. We compare the fusion rate at 3 months after the unconvertible joint fusion and traditional end plate space fusion, in other words, traditional SDF. And we found that the fusion speed of the unconvertible joint was faster than that of the traditional end plate space fusion. Based on this study, we believe that unconvertible joint fusion can be transformed, practiced, and promoted. However, as this study currently only focuses on short-term results, further follow-up studies are needed to explore whether there are long-term complications.